Hello, this is Haka the Bean, and today we are going to level 94, also known as Motion. And we're going to read a special document that is related to this level and the entities that led to me coming here to level 94 of the back rooms. Let's get right into this level for now. Survival difficulty, class 3. Unsafe, unsecure, low entity count. Level 94 is the 95th level of the backrooms. Description. Level 94 appears to be a large town, a floating castle, and grass hills. But everything has a grainy effect, as if this place was crafted. The main town is safe, with no entities during the day. The town has a big water fountain in this center, flowing with almond water. This town seems to be in the 1930s in a stop-motion type feel. This town has tiny houses with some furniture, mostly in 1930s to 1950s. The town also has 1930s style cars and milk vans, filled with almond milk. The town also has siren poles, which time to time play happy cartoony music. At this time, everything is safe until it turns night the music will stop completely and at this time the entity known as animations will start to appear and will attack violently if spotted other entities that appear in the night are smilers skin sealers hounds and male death mods but there are also death a uh, threat which they have evolved to look like a normal rat in the stop motion and look because the animations usually attack anything that does not look animated. The grass hills of level 94 usually go on forever, and is infinite. The only thing there are a few strange cars parked in the middle of nowhere, and a water tower, which seems to contain almond water. What is strange about the hills is random sets of furniture, and even entire single rooms of a house can be found, or sometimes it's just a wall with, a, with furniture next to it. Above the hills, you will see a floating castle, on what looks like a transparent mountain. <sighs> the Castle of Transparent Mountain. This is where level 94 can be really trippy for a human mind. So bring some almond water. This area, for some reason, will lose its cartoony effect on photos, which possibly means that is levels losing its effect in this castle. This castle appears to be a strange funhouse area, and it's very bright in some rooms. You can find ball pits, playgrounds, and an animation studio, with a miniature replica of the town and its entities. In this castle, the only entities that appear are what we call Robomen. Their appearance is an old-styled robot toy from the 1930s and an, in an animated form. They seem to be guards of this castle, and are hostile if they spot you interacting with any object in the castle. After wandering through the castle, which also seems to be infinite, you will soon find a large doorway. That will lead to the throne room. In this room, you will find the entity known as the animated king. At first, it doesn't seem hostile, but will in fact control you, and you could soon become a part of the animations. Or a doll face, apparently. But he will put you through a test, a test of withstanding your own nightmares and an animated form. If you happen to succeed, he will let out a burst of light, and you will either be sent out of the castle to the town, or one of the main levels. You can find a discovery log for this level here, and it's actually the other tab. Basis, Outposts, and Communities. Since the animations appear at night, it is really hard to survive in level 94 as a group. The MEG are currently finding a way to set up an outpost in this level. Entrances and Exits. To enter, you must first be in level 601 and successfully escape.
and make your way to the hub. Once there, a rectangular shaped hole will appear on the ground in a random area of the hub and will close very soon after entering, but slowly. To exit, you must either complete the animated king's trial and get to a random main level, or some houses will lead to either level 7, level 9, or level 53. The Discovery of Level 94 MEG Event Log 862 Type Level May 2nd, 2020 This log entry is about the discovery of Level 94. A survivor, which we will call Wanderer for privacy reasons, has accidentally stumbled into Level 94 via the hub. After, meeting, after exiting the end, Team Quick Match was already sent on mission at that moment. So Team Compass Point was sent out to fill in the task after Team First Response had gone into communication with the Wanderer and Sector or two-way voice channel. The teams involved in this log was Team Compass Point, Team Quick Match, Team First Response, and Team Overseer. I think I'm going to call Wanderer Bob. The first entry is a voice chat log between the Wanderer and Team First Response member, Harry. Begin log. Help. Is anyone... Users or was tuning in at this point. Turn your channel wheel a bit more. H Hello? Can you hear me? I... Yes, loud and clear. Oh, thank God. Uh, you guys gotta help. What well, seems to be the issue? Everything is not real. It's like, like crafted. Hell no, I just need help. Last level or new level. We will be sending team quick match to your location. Hurry, I'm running off almond water. I'm going insane from this place. Please. We'll need to know your last no on location before this event, please. Okay, okay, I was in the... Something, is something wrong? Everything is so quiet now. No more music. Please explain where. It's... It's night. I don't... Wait, what are... Hello? If you need to be saved, then please tell us your last location. What the hell are those? They're puppet people! They're coming for me! I gotta... Hello? <sighs> Looks like I have to wait. Is anyone listen? Hello? We hear you, bud. Hey, it's me, from that talk last night. It feels weird saying that. You're back, and alive too. Yeah, but I ran out of almond water. Well, we'll still need your previous location if you want to be safe. Oh, yeah, hold on, alright. I was in the end, okay, and I got lucky and escaped. After that, I made my way to the hub. And then this entrance opened on the floor. It was weird, you won't miss it. Alright, since Team Quick Match is on duty at this moment, it seems we'll have to send in Team Compass Point to your previous location. Overseer C has approved your request. Okay, thank you. Just beware of the night in this place. Noted. End log. In the second log, Team Compass Point was sent and out to rescue the Wanderer, and explore this new level. The team's leader, Reed, is tasked to write down logs of the events that will occur. Begin log. Time is 1.18pm. Kind of pointless to do 24 hour and then still do the PM and AM thing, because uh, that's like the whole point. Okay, here we go then. So we just made it out of the end. I haven't done that in a while. We have a little cheat around the end system of traps or whatever. Dan is already mapping out our route we're taking. Damn, I have no idea how OE does it so fast. But hey, that's Daniel for ya. Anyways, we are close to the hub as of now. I'm 
kind of excited as the level seems to have a a little neat description and you know crafted and all i wonder how it will look like hang on or what we'll find I'll keep you guys in the loop after we explore a bit of it. Time. 3.34 p.m. Alright, so a while ago we found the entrance, and God, it made a cut through the wall straight down. Like a straight rectangular box cut all the way down and on the side of the wall. The water said it was on the floor. It's possible the entrance relocates itself every time it's reopened. Which is very weird to me. After that little discovery, we... Threw a rope down and wrapped it to a pole in the hub. Once down, Randy just said to us, Guys, we are not in Kansas anymore. Which I thought was kind of funny and I chuckled. But you know what? He couldn't be more right. This place is messed up. Like visual effect wise. It's like I'm in the Nightmare Before Christmas down here. The entire place is like a puppet stop motion movie. Set in the 50s. Milk vans and all. All that said... Milk was, in fact, almond milk, a different substance, but still almonds. For God's sake, I'm sick of its taste, but it always helps. Jack grabbed a few for his own use is in his cooking. The houses in this place are no different to everything else, being cartoony and freaky and things like that. Retro TVs and furniture from the 50s is again in this animated form. We actually explored a lot of houses, and this effect is hurting my head, but there is no time to complain. Better keep moving with the team. Time, 4.34 p.m. This place is insane. It has a fountain with almond water. Once more, like, it would, would be anything else. Anyways, the siren poles have been playing nothing but this cartoony music for the entire time. Like it repeats the same tune over and over again. It's getting annoying. Other news is that it seems to be getting darker, which is weird if I'm seeing the sun set again. But it just reminds me of this hellhole I'll never escape from. Continuing on, we found a house which was flooded with normal water. Still no sign of the water of the wanderer yet. I hope they are safe. Speaking of safe, I remember something about the Wanderer talking about the knight and puppets, or something like that. Anyways, we'll keep a lookout during the night. I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm starting to wonder if this is just animations again. Yeah. Time. 8.53pm. Okay guys, so what happened was that the night came around and the music stopped. Finally. But once that started, we heard strange laughter. Coming from all around the place. The sounds were coming from the puppet entities. These guys were are in all different shapes and sizes and cloths and colors too. Their movement was very animated like. As it is with everything else. We were getting attacked, probably because we are not animated like them. We saw a few... Other things too. Skin stealers, smilers, and a few more as well. They were all getting ripped apart by these puppet people. Like forces of strength we've never seen before on an entity. Two of these things ripped apart a skin stealer in like four seconds. We all ran to find a safe place for us to hold our ground. Jack had the great idea to run to the level 7 exit and camp there until the night is over. We all ran to the e exit as Jess was holding them up. We all survived and made it to level 7, but not far so that he, the exit won't disappear. Well, we were setting up camp until, until unexpectedly, one of those puppet things made it into our camp and attacked me. Well, tried to. Before it could even touch me, Randy ran an in with a metal pipe and smacked its wooden head off. I was terrified because I was so close to that thing. That Randy almost hit me too. I told him to watch where you're going as he probably would have killed me or at least make 
Let me unconscious. Where did he even get a pipe anyways? We are in level 7. Waiting for the night to pass by in this new place. Jack is cooking up another meal right now, and it's almost ready. He's using the almond milk from earlier. The stuff pours out like it's stop motion. It makes me feel weird. Anyways, I'll get back to you guys after we do a bit more exploration. Time, 9.18 a.m. Well, everyone, what happened was that the level turned to morning, and that obnoxious music was playing again. Which actually feels reassuring. And we continue to explore. Harry tells us the Wanderer is still alive and communicating with him as of now. And he says that the Wanderer is in a floating castle of some sort. Well, we found it. It's actually pretty big, and we should have seen it when we entered this level from the hub to begin with. We are making our way there right now, walking through the hills and roads. And let me tell you, we found some strange stuff. There were a few houses which looked normal, at least to everything else. Then it got stranger. The further we got to the castle, the stranger the houses got. Like we found a single kitchen room just out there in the fields without the other rooms of a house. We also found a bedroom, but its room was just a single wall and floor with furniture for a bedroom and a bed where that wall is. Not only that, but it gets to the point where it's just random piles of furniture and somehow... Randy found a coin sitting in a sink in one of the furniture piles. The date of the coin was 1953, which matches the rest of this place. We also saw a few death rats, which they are also animated. I guess it's to save themselves from the puppet things. Well, we are close to the castle now. And looks like it actually has a mountain underneath it. And it isn't floating, but this said mountain is transparent. Which is all kinds of weird. Anyways, we'll get back to you guys after we explore the castle. Time, 12.31pm. I'm at the door to the throne own room, as I call it right now. Waiting for the others after we split from those robot toy things. Okay, let me catch up, you up to what's going on. So basically, we entered the castle, and everything inside was normal, and it's not actually animated, which made me very pleased. I was going to go insane if I have to look at that effect again. Anywho, this entire place is like a funhouse and a carnival. Halls would loop around, slides leading to different rooms, ball pits, and stuff like that. There was one interesting room I found, which seemed to be a studio with a mini replica of the town of this level. And its entities. What I thought was pretty cool, a few tables with papers and sketches of this place. As if it was being made into a movie. After we interacted with everything, we go, uh, we got attacked by two robot men. They were like the castle guards. My team all split up to effectively get rid of these robot men. Eventually one was chasing me as I was running away from it. I ended up running through a hall that was unnaturally bright. Blinding levels of light, and the robot the guy got lost in it, and I escaped. Now, I found a huge door, and I'm waiting for the rest of the team to meet me. Okay, just in right now, just got to the entrance of the throne room. Jack found two, who just now, and none of them are near me. Looks like we have a door that appears at random. Huh. Anyways, once Randy finds it, we'll enter it. I hear two people chatting on the other side. I'll see you guys there. Time, 1.07 p.m. I'm in level 1 now. I can't really remember everything that happened, but I still remember the important things. We entered the throne room, and I was right about my assumption. It was a throne room. We were all there, even though none of us were together before entering. The Wanderer was there, frozen still as we thought. Although he was still talking as if he was being controlled by the king. Yeah... I forgot to mention that. This king is the ruler of this castle and was in the middle of what he calls transformation. Which would explain the wanderer's lack of response. He was under mind control. This thing was made out of, out of stone but still moved and spoke like a normal being. 
Me and the team were about to fight this king until he somehow made these animations of this creature I would always see in my nightmares as a kid. I was afraid of it then, until I realized it was a manifestation of my own self-doubt, which still kind of affects me to this day. But when I saw it now, it had this fear-inducing effect, which I was not really affected by. I just felt anger, and I eventually destroyed the thing with my team. After that, the king spoke and congratulated us on defeating our greatest fears and blew up. Like, literally blown up into light. And then I was in level 1. The MEG is arriving at my destination as of now. Jess and Randy are still there in that level with the Wanderer. They appeared on the road, close to the town. They have plenty of time to make it to level 7. Jess also took a picture of the road, as she said. Jack is in level 4. And the MEG is looking for him. At least we are all safe. This is Reed, Captain of Team Compass Point, signing out. End log. All members of Team Compass Point were found and rescued, including the Wanderer. They were all, all transferred to Base Alpha and Level 0. Reed came up with the number 94 for the new level entry for a database. You may find the level here, level 94. The Wanderer was sent to the a BNTG Traders Keep to live in for a few months. New ent entity entries were added at for animations and the animated king. Well, that was level 94 and the discovery log that the entities from yesterday kept on mentioning. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!